And just like that, we're level 49. And that's particularly exciting, not only because do we have a full set of legendary gear, but in one more level, I get two new legendary weapons I can use, so my damage is going to go way, way up. And to celebrate that, I'm turning it all the way up to legendary difficulty, because those weapons should be good enough. And we get to play in the desert now. Also, I've mostly just been stacking lightning damage, so I just shock everything to death. Legendary's hard. Alright, gonna take it a little bit slower than I was on Heroic because it looks like things can really actually do some damage to me. But for the most part, my strategy is gonna be run in, use my skills, watch them all die fairly quickly. And I'm only picking up legendary or better loot, really. I pick up the pinks, but I only use reds. So I'll pick up things like the Thorn Ring, but I likely won't use it because it's just not going to compare to my Ring of Thunder. The big groups of enemies seem intimidating, but I actually have the one skill that pulls them all in towards me, and the more enemies there are, the more damage I do. These ones were a little bit too strong for me, but you get the point. Once I hit level 15 and get those new weapons, I'll be able to overcome all of this. And my experience on this difficulty is going up way, way faster than before, so I'll be leveling up extra quick. And after finishing this idiot, I'm level 50. So our damage is going to go from 1416 all the way up to 1683, but I get a huge boost of lightning damage after wearing these two. And basically everything I do is a lightning attack. Still taking lots of damage, but I'm able to kill things before they can kill me now. And we just found another legendary claw. And I didn't notice at first because it blends in with the desert, but there's another legendary claw right here, so I just found two new legendary weapons. And while both of these two would be a slight increase to regular damage, I'd be losing out on all that lightning damage that I need, so they're not worth it. But uh, don't worry, at the rate it's going now, I'll find new and better items before you know it. Now, this guy could be a good test of my uh, survivability skills, because he's probably going to do a lot of damage to me, so I need to be careful where I stand. Actually, not so bad. Also didn't realize there was two enemies here. I think I actually killed the first one already and we could probably tank through this other one. I can tank through most bosses that I've encountered so far. Seriously? He was dead. I went to my menu. Alright, I clearly need to pay extra extra attention today. Okay, now he's dead for real and he dropped me two pink items, which are pretty good but not good enough. This build is so satisfying though, being able to just pull everyone in and hit them and... Done. That looks fun. Champion's crown. Commonly used in transmutation. I don't know how to use transmutation, but I'm gonna start. It's just a legendary crafting material, and I'm okay with that. Looks like these crowns won't be super hard to find. Hopefully they are, and I'm just finding a lot of them, but we'll see. Ancient runes it is. I like it better just because we don't get the heat wave blurring our vision. Didn't take long before I found another legendary helm of might. That's the crafting material. Tempted to use it, and I probably should, but it doesn't have the lightning damage that I think I need still. I made a small change. I might have uh, overestimated my legendary weapon's ability to carry me through legendary difficulty, so I've turned it back to heroic, which is strangely too easy. But when I have a choice between things being too easy and too hard, I'll take the easy way every time. Like, that would have absolutely destroyed me on legendary, and I barely lost any health. Another legendary, Volcanic Fists. And I found this spell, Codex, another legendary crafting material. I'm probably not going to do any crafting until a little further into the game, considering I'm only level 52 and leveling very quickly. My theory is, is that if I make something now, it'll be outdated in three levels anyway, so I might as well wait till I'm a high, high level. Glowy chest, give me something good. Oh, I actually need this for a quest. I thought it was something exciting. I don't care about the quest, I just want items. Another magic chest, and I think we got at least one legendary out of there. Let me just clean up the enemies in the area. And Horfrost. And also blood-soaked helmet from the idiot who tried to kill me while looking at Horfrost. We're finding a lot of good items today. Blood-soaked helmet, again, is maybe better than what I'm wearing now, but it doesn't add the lightning damage, and I really want that lightning damage. In theory, I could re-roll this. Pretty sure that's a thing. So I've taken Horfrost and seen my options. It didn't really give me anything good because I'm looking for electric damage. So I'm going to use this, and it's going to re-roll it into new enchantments, and hopefully I get something I want. Okay, I don't think this is going to work. It's going to keep giving me different amounts of frost damage. 10 to 15. So I got maximum frost damage, but I want lightning. And while we're at it, we might as well use this. Which brings us to the Arena of Death. And that's basically going to go like this. For five waves. Except for maybe the boss wave. This one might pose a little bit of a challenge to me, but we'll see. Just going to hit all my skills at once and keep my health up. Oh, that's close. Alright, this wave is a little bit harder, but as long as I'm paying attention to my health, I'll be able to kill them. No problem. Then I get three glowy chests for six legendary items. At least that's my estimate. Or zero. Zero is pretty close to six. I like these areas with lots of little things because I can just obliterate all of them so quick and it feels so good. Plus that really gets my kill streak going quickly. Like that was 50 enemies and I hardly did anything at all. Here's something interesting I just found. 
Helm of Knowledge adds all sorts of stuff, is a pretty good item overall, but adds 2% bonus experience on each kill, stacking up to 100 times until I find a unique or higher quality item. But it doesn't give me the damage of the other thing, and I find unique items like every enemy I kill, so I'm not going to use it. I suspect this is a boss fight. Well, start of a boss fight. Did I do it? Did I win? Oh, it's waves of enemies. Alright, well I guess I'll just defeat the waves carefully one at a time and apparently these guys are the boss wave so we'll see exactly how tough they are I can activate all of my skills for once just to make me a little extra stronger and yeah so far not a lot of challenge but i did find one legendary throughout those waves and it's a better armor not by a great deal but it's good enough for me and it looks like we get back to back boss fights so that's okay that's always entertaining even if they're not particularly hard due to my legendary gear but while i'm at it maybe i'll actually take these shrines because i might as well i think that increased my magic find so we should find pretty good items from this idiot i've seen a few of my hits go for up to seventy thousand. i don't know if we've broken a hundred thousand yet but that'd be a fun goal to hit i like how when he died he just kind of fell into a big pile of loot one legendary and one uh pink some boots that are maybe moderately better but they're mostly just thorns and i don't like thorns because i don't get movement speed from those and i like to run around not killing things i'm starting to kind of get this unique problem where even if legendaries do spawn they're hard to see amongst a pile of loot like if i press alt it shows me everything but it can still bury some of the good stuff like that i didn't realize that was in here either there was two legendaries i couldn't see this will be a lot of enemies to kill all at once this feels good. As I find my way into a new area, I think it's time to go back to the shop and sell some stuff. And here's how we do it. Sell everything, pink and below, which leaves only the legendaries that I probably missed when I picked them up. Like this one, the spirit vest. Power 680, which is stronger than anything I've found so far, but it also adds 13% lightning damage. So that's way more damage for me. And we already have another boss fight. I... Okay, I guess I'll just sit here and take that. Oh good, it brought friends. I do more damage this way anyway, so thank you for that. Your friends are dead. This one has some knockback, which is annoying, but for the most part, I'm just going to sit right here and tank through it. Just about done. It's a bit of a longer fight because it has a lot of health, but it also can't really hurt me. So this is easy. And there we go. It's dead. Anything legendary? Supernova. That sounds like it could be fun. It could be. All Nova skills deal 43% increased damage. I don't think I use any Nova skills, though. So I'm just going to continue on with my lightning strategy because if it isn't broke, we're not going to fix it. I think I just got really lucky, but here's another boss already. Oh, I need to find a key in the Lost City first. Of course I do. Just found a legendary prismatic star. Can be transmuted to add a permanent star socket. Interesting. I found the Lost City. Pretty amazing they're able to put the whole thing in this one little box. One of these statues was kind enough to give me a legendary called Crown of Storms, so as soon as I'm done with these idiots, I'm going to look at exactly what that is. This does not so much lightning damage. Tempting to use just based on its other stats, but I'm going to wait because I'm clearly not lacking in power anyways. And that looks like it's going to lead us right into the next boss, which so far is a tentacle. There's the rest of the boss. That's who we were looking for. I have 6,007 health and my health is barely dropping through all of this. So again, I'm just tanking through it. When did I hit level 60? Seriously, I know it wasn't the hardest boss, but you could at least give me something pink. Now I'm in an annoying dark cave where enemies slow me down a lot. And a legendary necklace, Gornak. It has a power of almost 800, but it doesn't really give me any lightning damage, though my current one doesn't either. Though I guess we'll use it because it's better, though it's nothing outrageously good. There's a lost girl that seems to need help, so I'm gonna walk the other way. I ran straight away from her, and that brought me to this place, which is going to be a boss fight. And we all know how these go. Basically something like this, me doing 20 to 40,000 damage at a time while it sits there and does nothing. Except occasionally sending me down here where I just defeat regular enemies and go back up and finish it off. I did just see a hit for 87.7 thousand, so we're getting close to the 100k mark. I think I get more legendaries from random mobs than I do from the bosses at this point. Apparently that was the last boss of that act, so this guy gave me the Thumper and the Thumper. Which basically grants a Sandworm companion to help me kill stuff. I don't really want that though because it doesn't give me lightning damage. Although this one does give me a little bit so I'm going to use this because this has a power of 930 and 13% magic find. All the things that I like. That's a big worm. So I guess we're on to the final frontier, the gates of hell. It's a little dark overall but there are a lot of enemies so I'm going to enjoy this. That's just easy experience. They want me to secure areas. That's not what I like doing. I just want to kill stuff indiscriminately. But I guess I'm a good candidate for the job, seeing as I lightning everything to death very quickly. That's not so bad. All I have to do is touch this on uh, the other two spots and I'm good to go. I just saw a hit for about 75,000 and I might have actually seen one for over 100. So damage is definitely going up very fast. But also I got my last portal, so hopefully I can move on to what should be some 
boss fights. Another Gornak. It actually seems to be a little bit better than mine, though the power is lower, so I'm not going to use it. Now that I helped those guys, I need to go find someone else to the east to also help them. A pink backpack? That's bigger than the one purple one I have by three whole slots. That can just stay there now. Next, I think we need to go into here, and there's no special guys here, so in we go. Even though I'm basically running through all these places like this, I'm still not catching up to difficulty. Like, I'm still just destroying everything I come across. But eventually I'll get too far ahead of myself and difficulty will catch up to me. Alright, here's the guy I was looking for. Uh, Fizzbang. Very cool name, by the way. I wonder if my worm is strong enough to kill him. It probably is. Wow, I actually died there. I wasn't paying attention. That's what I get for texting and driving. Alright, I guess I gotta go all the way back there. Now. Never mind, I forgot I had a waypoint right here, so this will only take a moment. With only a little bit of difficulty, he's dead. The hardest boss yet that we fought and doesn't drop any legendary items, not even a pink one. Looks like we're ready to go in. I'm sure that was a nice explosion, but I want to kill stuff. And now after talking to the idiots I just helped, they just sent me to find another idiot to also help him. I've just realized how long it's been since I found a legendary item. I feel like we were finding them constantly for a while, and now I haven't found one in a while. But we did find another boss, and hopefully this will drop me a legendary. Alright, this is the kind of boss that definitely can do some damage to me if I'm not careful. Luckily, I'm semi-careful, and they're dead. Still no legendaries. That's pretty annoying. I didn't do my shrines either because I died and had to restart. Well, I rescued these idiots, so that's something. 